Young and the Restless. Alina dumps Nate. Audra makes her move. Vido. Hello everyone. Welcome back to my another video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. Young and the Restless has Audra Charles after Nate Hastings now that Alina Dawson kicked him to the curb. However, she still needs to get Victoria Newman out of the way on the CBS daytime drama. This is a transcript of our new Y and R video on one of the hottest storylines right now, video down below. Check out all our Soap Spoilers podcasts here and be sure to follow us on YouTube as well. Hey there, CBS Soap Opera fans. This is Soap Dirt on YouTube and we want to talk about something happening on Young and the Restless right now. Alina Dawson dumped Nate. And now we're wondering, is it time for Audra to make her move to steal him away from Victoria? There is a whole bunch of traction in this love triangle, which is actually a love quadrangle that not everybody knows about yet that's involved in it. So let's dig in and talk about this. This week on Young and the Restless, which is the week of, let me see, what are we in? May 1st through 5th? Yeah, May 1st through 5th. So Elena trekked to Los Angeles to confront Nate Hastings, and he admitted to taking Victoria to bed. He was pretty much caught red-handed. She flings a glass of water in his face and tells him they are through. So what now does Victoria get him by default? Well, it might seem that way. Except there's a third woman involved in this situation that Victoria and Alina are not aware of in terms of her interest in Nate. And of course, that is Audra Charles. Audra has decided for whatever reason that she wants Nate Hastings on Young and the Restless. That he is some kind of prize she wants, even though she knows he's a cheater. Even though she knows he is lying to his current girlfriend, she still wants him. You know that saying about how you meet them is how you lose them. The saying basically applies to if you are cheating with someone, and that's how you met them, then it's very likely that they will cheat on you, and that's how you will lose them. So the big question is, why would Audra even want him knowing what a lying cheater he is? Audra doesn't seem to mind lying cheaters because she's been involved with Tucker McCall for quite some time. They were sharing a bed before they both came to Geno City. He sent her there to do some advanced work for him. Then he showed up, and she knew full well that he wanted to reconcile with Ashley Abbott, but she kept warming his bed. She warmed his bed five minutes after he had Ashley in it on Young and the Restless. So she doesn't really have a problem with cheating dirtbag behavior. In fact, we have to wonder if that's exactly the kind of behavior that attracted her to Nate. Maybe she likes creeps who behave badly. That would explain her personal and professional affiliation with Tucker McCall. So the big thing is Audra Charles kind of knows all of the moving pieces between these three people, and none of them really know that she is paying attention or what she's up to. Right now, Audra has been acting like she's a friend to Alina Dawson on Young and the Restless. She has been dropping her little tidbits of information so that Alina would realize when Nate is lying to her. This is not the first time she's done it, but... Audra is definitely the reason that Alina is in lay, throwing water in his face, slinging accusations, and dumping him. Nate lied to Alina and said that he was going on the business trip alone, and then he promised her a special vacation with just the two of them when he got back. But Audra asked her enough leading questions to where she could safely say, oh, you know, he lied to you. So Alina knows that he lied to her and was dangling this vacation out of guilt because he was planning on sleeping with Victoria in lay. While he may not have been thinking, oh, I'm gonna go to L.A. and immediately sleep with Victoria Newman, he knew that once he was alone in L.A. with Victoria, Vicky was gonna try and get him into bed, which of course she did. So Audra set up this whole scenario, and to be fair, Audra could have stopped this. She could have actually prevented Alina's heartbreak. She could have told Nate, I know what you're doing, and if you go, I'm going to tell Alina, but that's not really her job to rein him in. And he is her boss, you know, so that would put her in a tough. So there are a lot of things that Audra can do to influence from behind the scenes to try and get Victoria away from Nate. We do have to wonder how long Alina might sit on the information that it was Audra who told her that he was out of town with Victoria. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay with us.